All right. <clears throat> so the other day I had gone over to visit my parents and as part of the conversation, my dad had brought up either my grandpa or his grandpa. So it would be my grandpa or my great grandpa. And he mentioned that he would wake up very early every single day. That was a habit for him. And when he finally got to the point where it was his time to go and he was going to pass away, they knew that it was happening because he didn't wake up early for a week straight, you know, and after that week, that's when he passed away. And that made me realize something. The, the things that I do and the habits that I have don't necessarily start with me, but there's a possibility that these things are things that are carried on to us from those people in the past. One thing that we think about when we think about our ancestors and, you know, things that we, we continue, you know, we, we carried on is their physical traits. You know, it's, it's the easiest thing, you know, the, the way that your eyes look, the way that your nose looks, you know, maybe it looks like your grandma or your grandpa, but that's as far as we take it. We don't consider the fact that it could be their habits, it could be their diet, um, it could be their addictions that can all carry on to us. I've heard it before that if you have an addiction to something, there's a possibility that your kids can also have that addiction or even a withdrawal to that because you have put yourself through a certain amount of stress and you have handled it in a certain way that that is how your body expects to go through that. And then same with, you know, those who come after you. So if we don't know who our ancestors were, we don't know who came before us, you know, then how do we connect the two? And how can we see that, oh, you know, maybe this is why I am the way that I am. You know, this is why I do things in this way, or I handle stress in this way. And I can either continue that, or I can decide to stop and change things. Because when we're here and it is our time, we have that opportunity to do that. But if we don't, then we will continue on with the traditions that you know came before us i think about my my diet and the way that my body reacts to things and how it is connected to our ancestors because who knows my ancestors may have ate the same things for hundreds of years it could be tomatoes, onions, fish, um, like pickled onions, olives. And now that I have an abundance of things, I can choose whatever I'd like to eat, right? I have that freedom. There are times that we make bad choices and our body does not know how to handle what we're taking in. Because maybe for hundreds of years, our family had been eaten, eating in the same way and their di digestive system changed to fit that diet. And now as we're eating whatever we want to eat, we have an abundance of you know, sugars, fats, uh, carbs that maybe our body cannot handle or cannot process in the, in the same way, you know? There are certain foods that when I eat them, I feel so much better. Like my body digests them just fine. I'm satiated. I tend not to get sick. And I think it's because I give my body exactly what it needs. But I know that if I veer off that and I start eating things that are just because I am craving them, then I can have issues. You know, my body can be going through things that 
get in the way of my day think about like when you when you eat something and it gives you an upset stomach or you're constantly in and out of the bathroom that doesn't need to happen because if you ate something else you wouldn't have to do that you wouldn't have to go through that and you could continue on with your productive day instead of having to deal with this additional you know problem obstacle just because you know we didn't consider that our body would handle things in a negative way and until we understand these things and we understand that oh there's a connection right that we can use these to our advantage you know that's i think that's what's most important because when we understand a bigger broader picture of things it helps us to make better decisions you know we have a clarity of mind it isn't something that we feel lost in that we feel that we don't have the power to change you know what we are or um to progress and move forward because sometimes we're we've tried things over and over and over again and we don't get the results that we want but we have to find what works because if something works then you know you can do it again and again and it should continue to work and there's certain gifts that i feel are connected with your ancestors you know those who came before us one of those gifts for me and i think it runs in my family because my little brother also has it is the ability to lucid dream sometimes i talk to people about it and they can't seem to grasp how to do it or how to do it consistently and for me you know it was something that i just grew up with i grew up with it and i as i matured as a person it got better and better and i think it was the same with my little brother but there must have been somebody in our past who had something similar and that gift continued on to us because as we go through the stresses of life and as we go through the obstacles we handle them in a certain way and these things can be done from memory maybe not our memory but the memory of those who came before us that also affects us now you know we're a culmination of all the strongest traits of our ancestors you are it you you are the most important thing that came from them because you will continue on with whatever you decide to do and whatever influence they had on you that can continue further than that right now that we're here you know it is your time your ancestors who came before you they had their time and they chose to live their lives in a certain way we still will be connected to them and what they did still affects us you know their habits their addictions uh their beliefs these are all things that carry on to us and then we decide what we want to do with them but it gives you a opportunity now that whatever you do now whatever you do here is going to affect the generations that that come after us you know why does it matter that we leave a legacy behind if we don't even remember those who came before us you know we need to give them their time we need to appreciate the hard work that they did to get us where we're at right now. And you know, with that, it will give us uh a, a drive to actually do something with our lives. Because it does matter. You know, you matter. You matter right now. But those who come after you and those who came before you, they also matter. And it takes this realization to be able to act 
and as we act, then we get to decide where things go from here. You know, it gives you back your power. That's one of the big things I've learned from lucid dreaming is that you learn how to re regain your power. It is not something where the dream decides where you're going or what is happening. No, you can decide, but it takes time. It takes practice. It takes learning things that work. And by learning things and finding out what works, then you almost seem to have a, a confidence because you know that everything's going to be okay and that you have the ball in your in your court right you can decide where it goes and so uh, you know i hope that gives you guys uh, a motivation to act and move forward and uh thanks for listening guys